Hi, uh, I'm Christina Alexander. I am a licensed medical esthetician and I'm going to teach you guys um, some tips and tricks that you can do to help combat some winter skin. So one of the first things I wanna recommend and, and state these are just really general tips. If you're working with a dermatologist or esthetician, please keep on your skin regimen. These are just gonna be some fun things that maybe you can add to them. Um, utilize them, take what works well for you, takes what doesn't, but these are just some things to you know combat winter skin and, and keep in that moisture that we all need, all right? So my first recommendation starting with, I would say the morning regimen is to just wash your face with water. That's right. So washing your face with soap and hot water in the morning um, will most definitely dehydrate your skin. So if you are up for it and are okay with just washing your face with just cool water in the morning, I highly recommend it. Continue your serums and everything in your morning regimen after that as is. But in the morning, if you can, and hopefully you're doing enough in the evening time with your skin regimen that just washing your face in the water in the morning with just cool water will be really helpful. Now, let's say you are somebody that works out in the morning though, and you do want that fresh and clean feeling, I would recommend doing either a micellar water or using a gel-based cleanser. And Shackley has a really good luminous gel oil cleanser that you would be able to utilize for that. Um, along with either a milk-based cleanser, but either sticking with any three of those, we're gonna be pretty beneficial for your skin still, not dehydrate you too much, um, and really maintain that moisture level that you need throughout the day. Uh, so another thing that I would recommend adding to your skin regimen, so this would be my second tip, is a hyaluronic acid. So um, hyaluronic acid, is already produced naturally in our, in our body. Um, basically what happens is it is what lubricates our muscles, it lubricates our joints and ligaments. Um, it is everything internal. So on a topical level, we also want to add it as well. So once you're done washing your face in the morning or in, in the evening, um, when your skin is really damp still, add a hyaluronic acid. Uh, Shackley has the moisture activating serum here. Um, this would probably be one of the, you're going to hear me talking about this one product throughout a lot of the tips. Um, and it's just going to be extremely beneficial. So hyaluronic acid not only attracts, but it also holds moisture. So when you apply it to your skin, when it is a little damp and wet, it's just going to attract more of that moisture, which we want to keep in the skin, right? Uh, another thing, and also what's really good with this is it's a serum, so you can include it with any of the peptides that you currently have or vitamin C serums. No more than three serums at a time though but this would be a really, really good one to add, especially for the winter months. Uh, following up on that, I would definitely recommend swapping your daytime moisturizer for your evening time moisturizer and using that uh, both during the morning and the evening. So uh, of course in the morning when you're done putting on your moisturizer, follow up with an SPF. And in the evening, I recommend uh, adding a oil to it in the end. So um, adding a little bit of an extra oomph, I would say, <laughs> to your skin and, and bringing in that um, hydration. So make sure that you do add something though that has ceramides in it. That's going to go ahead and make sure to keep that moisture in and blocked on your skin. So want to make sure we have that. Now things to add, I would say two to three times during the week is of course exfoliating your skin is going to be really important but another thing to add is a mask and a great way to do that is there are two masks that Shakely have um sorry Shackley have that are going to be really good one is the hydrating gel mask that is a beautiful gold color and the other one is a purifying clay mask so my recommendation is to do a little patchwork and start off by of course washing your face keeping it a little damp adding your hyaluronic acid here, and then going ahead and patchwork is basically, you know, working different areas of your skin with um, uh, differently. So, you know, you would put a clarifying or purifying mask on the bottom half. Like for me, that's what I've been doing because wearing a mask all the time, I even have a little um, pimple right here. And basically putting a purifying mask where the masks are and then on top of that, everywhere else I'll put the hydrating mask. So these are really, really great to go ahead and keep your skin top and notch during the winter months. 
some other recommendations that I have would be to adding a humidifier to your room. So, and definitely your bedside table. Uh, humidifiers, you know, as we sleep basically in the evening, our skin loses a lot of moisture. So you wanna make sure that we keep that healthy and hydrated and having a humidifier next to your bed is gonna be insanely helpful, especially with you have, you know, internal factors that are happening in your home. Um, you have heat or a space heater, all of that is just gonna dehydrate your skin. So you really wanna maintain, again, that moisture. That's what we're trying to do during the winter months. So that would be a good way to do that. And then the second, um, or sorry, not the second thing, but the last thing would be uh, is water. Easy, super, super easy. Um, but you know, not only is our skin and our body made up of 70 to 80% of water, but our skin is the last organ to actually receive the hydration and water that we drink, so, and nutrients. So it's really important that you keep up with that. Um, water, 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 I would just say, um, I have way more than eight ounces of water a day. So as long as you kind of continue to do that, um, and just remember that it's not just topical things that help your skin, it's also a lot of environmental factors, which would help again with the humidifier, and then um, internals of how and what you're consuming and eating are also really big things. So remember that, and I hope that you found these tips very useful, and um, I hope to see you guys here soon. Thanks so much, bye.